the 10 essential leadership skills for the 21st century workplace. So whatever your job title, leadership skills, so this precious ability to bring out the best in people will be a vital part of success. Good leadership is one of the 20 skills and competencies I discuss in my book, Future Skills. So if you want to learn more, check this out. What I want to look here is look at the key things that make a good leader. And then lots of different aspects that will influence it. And leadership skills are now needed throughout the organization because our, the nature of work is changing where we have more gig working, more fluent organizational structures where you will lead teams uh, occasionally. So whether you are a, a CEO or anyone across the entire hierarchy of an organization, leadership skills will become important. Motivating others. The ability to motivate others is all part of inspiring people to be the best they can be. So ensure that people know that their work matters and how it links to the bigger picture and show your appreciation and celebrate success. Fostering potential. Great leaders look for potential and not just performance. So don't fall into the trap of getting people to think like you. Encourage them to think and act like them. Let people know that it's okay to sometimes fail and encourage them to develop their skills and think about the next stage of their career, whatever that might be. Inspiring trust. This means being honest and transparent and keeping your promises and generally making sure you don't say one thing and do another. It also means standing up for what you believe in. Taking on and giving up responsibility. Good leaders know when to take on responsibility and when to let go of responsibility. So play to your strengths and play to the strength of the people around you and allocate uh, responsibility accordingly. Thinking strategically. This requires leaders to take a wider view and look over the horizon. Use critical thinking skills here to gather data and find solutions to the most pressing strategic questions. Things like, where will our growth come from in the next three to five years? Setting goals and expectations for everyone. So instead of the traditional top-down approach, you might want to consider a more simple, dynamic and agile way to set goals. Forget the annual goal setting approach and think about OKRs, objectives and key results that are typically set on a monthly or at least a quarterly basis. Giving and receiving feedback. So good leaders are able to give and receive feed feedback, both positive and constructive. Put a process in place for regular catch-ups where you can chat through progress and give feedback. Team building. A good leader is a bit like a football manager in that they have to pick strong players who perform different roles and then shape those players into a cohesive unit. And remember, each person will bring their own unique skills and experiences, be motivated by different things and have different working styles. So embrace this rather than trying to get everyone to behave in the same way. Positivity. If you show up with a negative attitude, it will soon spread throughout your team. So think carefully about the language you use, for example, both verbally and in writing. Use words with positive connotations. You can turn a problem into an opportunity, for example. And celebrate successes, big and small. Authenticity. For me, being an authentic leader is part of building trust. A good leader is aware and open about their own weaknesses as well as their strengths. So you want to bring your whole self to work as opposed to having one persona at work and another one outside of work. There's so much more on this topic. If you want to learn more, subscribe to this channel and have a look at my book, Future Skills, in which I look at the 20 skills and competencies everyone needs for the 21st century and our new digital world. And maybe have a look at my podcast and my website.